own utter poop. So, there's been a lot going on. Um, <sighs> recap, I kind of talked about taking my friend's kid um, to Salem. of all of this I find out mom really wants to move like make room kind of move sorry you guys I have the worst migraine today I got woke up all night I just couldn't sleep through the night it was hurting so bad I'd wake up and it was across my forehead and right now it's my eyeballs on the back of my head kind of had one lingering for a few days. Oh, I'm about to clean my glasses. Um, but I just kind of chalked it up to traveling and the stress due to that. Because it's hard. I mean, I've known, I've known her since she was six. And it's hard when kids move away. And I know for her, this was going to be the best thing. She has a bad stigma in this town and it's not fair to her that people are going to prejudge her because of mistakes she's made in the past. And so I wholeheartedly think this was the best thing for her. And I know how stressful it is to start over when Lex and I moved up here we got rid of quite a bit of stuff and um, we just moved we, we sent UPS with like six boxes and Lex and I hopped on a plane with what was in our bags and we came up so, you know, it does suck to start over, but sometimes it's the best thing. And I wasn't running, per se, from anything. Um, the town I grew up in was quite large, so you'd be shocked if anyone knew you. It's just... The violence there was too much for me. I had a little kid. I had a husband. And I wanted to get my daughter and I established before my husband came up. And my husband came up a little sooner than we all expected because the neighbors set our apartment on fire. Mine and hers and the two above us. So it wasn't like, you know, she hated me and set my house on fire. There's different things around that story, so no one really knows what actually happened. Um, sometimes I wonder if it's a little bit of a cover up. But, um, yeah. And so. We were here in Jan end of January, January 28th, and Anthony came up in April. He found out that, you know, our house had caught on fire, and technically we're kind of homeless. They put us in a motel, but ours, there was so much smoke in ours, it, like, I don't mind, like, I love smoked salt. I like the smell for the most part of, you know, uh, a fire to an extreme. I have this fear that my house is gonna catch on fire all the time or my car, I have actually had nightmares of that one. Um, and so, I 
like it, but when it's compressed to a two bedroom apartment, it's severely overpowering. And then so we were out of it for a while and then they um, put us in a motel for a few days and then um, and then where did we go? Oh, we ended up upstairs in an empty apartment that just happened to be empty um, in the next like section and uh, we had to get an air mattress because well a motel if you guys under have ever had to do it honestly like when Anthony and I got married we rented a house and um, it was easier because who wants to eat out all the time and in a motel you can't really cook food and so we were happy to at least be in an empty apartment we could still get into ours if we needed clothes, and we did. We took garbage bags full of clothes. Um, one of the local laundry mats actually allowed us to do it all for free. Anyone who was the, the four apartments that were affected by the fire. So, was it the three of us? I think the one that was above me didn't end up any, with any anything too damaging. The poor girl that was above the woman. Okay, so it was the woman, the her family, the girl's family, and then me, and then another family. And um, so hers was set on fire. I shared a ventilation system with her, so anytime she was smoking in the apartment, in my bathroom, you could tell. They didn't really get anything, but the family up here were trapped in the house. She had to jump out the window being pregnant, toss her daughter out, and her husband had to ju all jump out the window because there was no way to get out their front door. The flames were so high. story was going my head hurt so bad anyway so nope I got nothing I don't know why I said all of that I obviously need to get into the doctor as soon as possible I wouldn't be out if it wasn't for the fact that Anthony needed something he offered to take half the day off Yes, I know he would get paid for it, but yeah, I got nothing. She just doesn't need to do it. I am going to be in a certain amount of pain where everything feels uncomfortable. Like even my bra right now hurts. first grade. Um, we've been pretty much in the same school system until I changed schools um, in high school because we moved to the next town over. And so sophomore year? No, junior. Junior year I think I lost touch with him. And then he, I ran into him one night I was like, who was that? Or who is that? I think he was still standing there. 
I was like, oh, it's Anthony. And I was like, not ringing a bell. And then all of a sudden it like kind of clicked. <sighs> I don't know why that bumper sticker really got to me. Like I'm sitting here reading it. If you can't see me. Oh, if you can't see my mirror, I can't see you. See? And I really read something else. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be sick. Anyway, so yesterday was, so I came home Saturday, left Friday, came home Saturday, of course, was tired. I think that's kind of a duh. And, um, I should have just taken it easy. And I didn't, I ended up baking. I did apple, applesauce muffins and a peach cobbler one, which I really thought I was going to dislike after the first bite. But like the second one it was really good. It wasn't, it wasn't uber sweet, but it tastes like, like, I don't know, a light version of a, a peach cobbler. It tastes like peach cobbler which was really weird, but I like it because it's not overpoweringly sweet. Um, made dinner. I made a mashed potatoes with cauliflower in them. Um, I did kind of a half and half system, which were really good. Chicken legs that I told Anthony cook Friday green beans and Anthony wanted black eyed peas. So I made black eyed peas also. I had to go shopping. Uh, had to get a couple of things. Uh, Lex wanted to go to Sally's because she wanted to dye her hair, which she did. And it really took. And then um, she did Kyle's. And you can tell he has red in his hair, but his hair was a darker brown, so it didn't quite show up as prevalent as Lexi's because she has a kind of blonde in her hair, and that's just natural. She has light, light brown, brown hair. So, but I think it's pretty. Like, she's like, can I do Kyle's if I have enough? And I was like, one, you bought it. And two, you need to ask his mother. And fingers crossed, they weren't lying. Um, and so she did that. And, oh, I did dishes. I think it was just a combination. Oh, and the air conditioner that was in the kitchen froze up. So we had to turn it to just normal air and wait for it to defrost, which honestly didn't take too long. I wanted to check the filter because it wasn't pumping cool air. It wasn't pumping hot air either. But, you know, with the oven on and stuff and moving around, I was starting to feel icky from the heat. What else? Oh, I did meal prep again, as you guys seen. I didn't really, you know, do too much of the muffin making process. So I'm starting, this will be the second week. I've done it before, it's just keeping up with it. Anthony is the one that needs most the prep. Almost couldn't talk. Um, because he works and he needs to eat breakfast and lunch and so I made egg bites as you guys saw and then I did salmon for two meals tuna for two I did like a tuna salad in one and then I got crackers while we were at Walmart 
and then I did a quinoa and tuna with um, like a Frank's red it was one of the little bottles I don't know if they make them anymore but it was like a ginger garlic sriracha from Frank's and so I just kind of did a squiggly line all over it then I did a quinoa and chicken leg and some black eyed peas. He really does like the quinoa. Oh, and I made the quinoa. So I had been making it, I think it was Uncle Ben's makes little cups and it's like a personalized cup. So that's like one serving. And um, I, uh, I grabbed some when I was at Winco and coffee for me if you get one you don't have to um and so I made it and I have been watching um a fellow YouTuber and she does meal preps on Sundays also and um she was recommending doing chicken broth with the quinoa and it makes it much better and so um that's what i did and he said it was really good because i've been doing quinoa and brown rice for him get some headache. I already have one. Get some coffee and see if that helps. Anyways, I have tricolored uh, carrots also and uh, I roasted them off and put some of those with his salmon. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm here. What so I need a large Yogacino Hershey's um, with peanut butter and extra peanut butter in that um, with coffee. And then I need a small chocolate chai with peanut butter and also coffee. No whip on any. Alright. So that was, uh, what, not that hot or cold.
thank you. Oh. I'll have to reorganize our person so it's like a disaster right now. Anyway, so yesterday was really busy and I don't think that helped with my headache. Thank you. Have a good day. I guess putting my car into gear would be good. So, uh, um, I don't even know what I was going to say. Wow. I can kind of feel the pain easing up, which is weird to me. Or it's one of those moments, you know, when the coffee hits your soul. But I've had coffee this morning, and I wonder, and it was hot coffee. Maybe that's something I need to kind of think about doing at home is doing something cold instead of something hot. Because I normally don't drink hot coffee in the summertime. Oh, it's 84 already. I think it was supposed to be 100 today. And tomorrow's 104. And I think Wednesday's 100 again. And then it's supposed to start dropping down. Um, and we put the house buying situation on hold as of right now. Um, we're waiting for some of the inquiries to fall off. Um, I need to go online and probably dispute them. Um, and that would help, but that's still, you know, we've got 30 days until then. And hopefully, you know, the house is around. If it's meant for us, then it will be. And if it's not, then it's not. And it just wasn't meant to be right now. And with mom being, you know, ready to move, uh, we need to obviously be in a bigger place because the boys can't be in the same room. And so we're having to shift everyone around right now. So... And then school will be starting soon and yeah so there's a lot of stuff going on Amy's phone is connected you connect phone ready call Anthony please say one for calling Anthony two for copy one Calling Anthony. Mobile, is this correct? Yes. Calling. I was wondering how many times I had to hit that button. Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, the phone thing worked the quickest it's ever in its life. Nice. Yeah, I think you're um, I'm over by 75 right now, or 69, whatever. Uh, I'm over by uh, those. I'm just coming down, and I don't see any parking. Okay, just pull. Oh, actually, the gate should be open. I don't know how comfortable you feel about pulling into that, or. Uh, oh, go over by, you know, where uh, the building across the way is. There's an under 
uh, what the ambulance used to, used to pull in. Go and pull under there, and I can just meet you over there. Okay, I'm right outside of your building. Okay, you probably won't find one there. Mm -mm. This wasp wants in my thing. I can pull into right behind you. The gates are open. Uh, yeah, I guess if you want to do that, you just kind of drop and go because you can't be back there forever. Yeah, so come out. Uh, Bye. Uh, yeah. Phone call completed. Getting, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go with that. Getting like a million emails when you start looking for stuff. It's when they all start coming in. So the headaches eased up, which is nice. And I actually am feeling hungry not just like I need to throw up anymore not that you wanted to know that anyway I have talked your guys ears off I'm gonna head home and try laying down for a little bit and seeing if that does anything talk to you guys tomorrow bye